Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. We're going to be reviewing today Creed Viking Cologne and we are also going to compare it to the normal Viking. Both of them look amazing, the bottles, the colors, everything. Uh, the juice of the Cologne is just a bit lighter compared to the normal Viking, but I don't think it really matters, the juice itself. Let's just spray it once. It's airy. You're getting a lot of mandarin, lemon, bergamot. It's fruitier than the normal Viking. That out of the top of my head from remembering the review I did yesterday, it's definitely fruitier. Let me just spray the normal Viking too. Oof, definitely, no, there is a lot of difference going on between both of them. This is darker. The normal Viking is way darker, way more old manish. It's good. It's very appealing, old manish, strong. A lot of lavender in the in the normal Viking, and it does smell a bit like old spice, but it's really not the same. It may have some kind of hint of old spice, the normal Viking, but that's it. This is really sophisticated smell. Now when I smell the Cologne version, this smells lighter, this smells fresher, this smells more mandarin, more lemon. Let me just spray it once more because it's a bit weak, I must say, compared to the normal Viking, which the normal Viking is very potent. Yeah, it's really there, you can smell it. It's good. It's both of them are good. Let me tell you this, but I must say there are some batch variations, just like there is with Aventus, because I have had samples, several samples, of the normal Cologne and of the normal Viking, and a lot of them were different. For example, we are here talking about the normal Cologne version. Some samples were more sweeter, more vanilla-esque, and the others were more citrusy. So it really depends on what batch you are getting, even with the Viking Cologne. But it's an amazing scent. Imagine the Viking that you have here. Tone the... Tone all the dark notes out. Take it out. Take the base of the Viking and work with a lot of mandarin, lemon, bergamot, Remove the pink pepper. This almost has no pink pepper inside of it. The lavender is also very weak, which the Viking has a lot of. Vetiver is really inside of the Cologne. And the nice base of sandalwood, which they both share. Both of them are great scents, guys. It's just more for a different uh, public, I must say. This one is more for older men, I must say. And the Cologne seems fresher and can be worn by younger men, for sure. Both of them are amazing. If you're asking me, I would say get both of them because you can't go wrong with them. The only issue here is performance-wise. You are not going to get astronomic performance with any of them, actually. But it's going to be not bad. Like, you're not going to have like a skin scent like some Aventus batches do, like mine right now. But it's not going to be some kind of a bump. I'm kind of a bit disappointed in the Cologne because this one, the, the longevity, the performance is less compared to the normal Viking. The Viking goes stronger. And coincidentally, they are both first batches, so they should be the best of best, but they are sadly not. I'm getting a lot more rosemary from the Viking Cologne. If I could just say one note that is dominating in both of them, in the Viking it is really the lavender note. In the Cologne, I can't really pinpoint one specific note because it is a little bit weaker, I have to say that. It is a little bit more blended together. Because in the, lav the lavender note in the normal Viking does really pronounce itself, it comes out very strong. But in the Cologne version, it's really a mixed bag of lemon bergamot, mandarin. You're getting a lot of rosemary. Rosemary is throughout the whole scent. Both of them are amazing. 
I'm giving both of them like eight and a half, nine out of ten. You can't really go wrong with them. But I would say like they are really for another public. The normal Viking for older men, I would say like 25, older like 30 and old over, like 25, 30 and over. This can be worn by 18 year old guys for sure. So if you want to smell fresher, younger, I would say get, go get the Viking Cologne. If you want a little bit more of a mature, uh, want to look like you're more, more mature, that give that more mature vibe to other people, this one is really it. Um, it do, this one also smells more confident compared to this one. If you can say something like that, if it smells confident. This one is more playful, more youthful, and I believe it's the general trend what's happening right now. Even with Aventus and Aventus Cologne, the Cologne versions are generally sw not sweeter, but uh, fresher. They are fresher, uh, they are more toned down in the base, uh, less cedarwood, sandalwood, a lot more of those fresh citruses that you are getting, not only in Crete, but other brands too, they are all doing the same stuff. The Colonia guys, I, lo I love both of them, uh, to be honest, like sometimes I'm telling myself like they are too weak for the money that you are spending because they are pretty pricey, even though the Colonia is a bit cheaper, it's not much difference guys, you're going to be shelling out some money to buy these scents. And yeah, if you if you, you really got to love this one. So I would say personally, if you like it, love it, buy them. But get a sample first and get two samples. So you know what batch you, you prefer because the batch variations are really there, guys. You, believe me, there are batch variations in these Crete colonies and the Viking. Only Aventus Cologne has no batch variations. I have smelled several uh, samples of Aventus Cologne. It has no batch variations. They are good. This is an amazing scent, guys. I would see myself wearing this going out with friends, meeting other guys, other women. This one is more for an evening when you are alone and playing poker with your pals or just smoking a cigar. This one is more manly. This one is more youthful. This one last longer this one has a bit more sillage this one is a bit more of a skin scent i must say even though it is not really a skin scent but it has some kind of skin scent elements to it but both of them are good right now a lot of nutmeg is coming out of the cologne it's a really a good niche scent these scents are really not monotone if i would say monotone i would say the viking the cologne is has more aspects to it and they are both good so i would say like go get yourself a sample enjoy yourself because both of them are good guys and if you got the money are willing to spend the money and don't want to be complaining afterwards because of the bad performance because of the shitty performance hey go get yourself a colonia hope you guys enjoyed the review i see you guys in the next one ciao ciao